Merrill Newman has apologized for his actions during the Korean War and during last month's visit to the North. North Korean state media has just put out images of the 85-year-old American signing an apology. But will this be enough to win his release? Well, let's go to Carl Penhall, joins us now from our Tokyo bureau. And Carl, um, what more do we know about this apology and I guess the circumstances surrounding it? Very little about the circumstances surrounding it. We do see from the document that he signed that uh, Merrill Newman signed that document on the 9th of November, and so obviously there's a there's a 20 days here that we don't know why this information hasn't been publicised before. Uh, what we also know from the North Korean official news agency is that the state is accusing Newman of hostile acts of infringing on the sovereignty of North Korea and so-called slandering uh, the socialist system. Now, that all sounds a lot like bureaucratic mumbo-jumbo until you then go into the fine print of exactly what they're accusing Newman of doing and that they're saying on this 10-day tourist package that he went on to North Korea during that time he tried to contact families relatives and possibly soldiers that he commanded during the Korean War and uh, in his apology he states in that apology and we don't know if this was coerced out of him or whether he put it together voluntarily but he said that during the uh, Korean War, he did have a role in advising and commanding partisan guerrillas who were made up of uh, South Koreans and anti-communist North Koreans who were carrying out covert and clandestine operations behind enemy lines. And uh, what the uh, North Koreans allege is that then during his return to North Korea in October on this tourist holiday that he was trying to re-establish contact with relatives of the soldiers he had commanded, Monita. And now we know uh, Mr. Newman is 85 years old. So do we know what his condition is right now, what the conditions of where he's staying, and if he has any access to, to family members at this point, or whether or not this apology is even going to help? Well, we know several things. We, we knew from early on since he was arrested, and, and uh, even the way that he was arrested was very dramatic. He was basically buckled up in, in the aircraft that was due to take him out of North Korea when the authorities hauled him off the plane. Since then, we know that his family uh, advised the authorities that he had a heart condition, and uh, the Swedish diplomats took him that medicine because the U.S. has, of course, no diplomatic ties with North Korea. In the video that we have seen where he reads out his confession, he appears relaxed at one stage, sitting in an armchair, talking off camera uh, to what apparently was one of the North Korean officials. Uh, and he seems uh, physically well, although obviously we haven't yet been able to talk to his family to see what their view on it is, but simply to, to, to the untrained eye. He looks well. He seemed to be uh, talking in a relaxed manner to officials. From here, though, of course, we'll have to see what is the reason behind this apology. Is this a prelude to some kind of conviction uh, that the North Korean uh, officials will announce? Or perhaps is it the prelude to some kind of a pardon? The big question, could Mr. Newman soon be on his way home? Or may he be sentenced to some kind of uh, custodial term in North Korea?